Let's take a look at another problem now that we've solved this one. All right, so here is my system. Um, and we're gonna use a couple of diagnosis problems. Uh, what, what the problem appears to be is when we look at our disk free, uh, you can see that dev SDA2 there is 99% full. And how I was alerted to this is my monitoring system started sending me all kinds of pages and emails uh, that this was a problem because it's about to be a real problem. But uh, is it 2 a.m.? Because that's relevant to the problem. Yeah, yes, it's always at 2 a.m. <laughs> so, clearly, we're almost out of disk space. And there's a couple of solutions here. One is maybe I do a file system extension like we were talking about with inodes. That could work. But maybe this is like the only box that's like this because something went a little haywire. So the tools that I'm going to pull out of my toolbox are DU so that I can figure out what is actually consuming this almost 20 gigs of space. All right, so I'm going to use DU and we're going to type that. And I saw Rick had suggested this earlier in the show, which is one of, one of our one-liners a couple shows ago. DU pipe into sort, pipe into head. Sorry, I need to also tell it to do it over the entire system. There we go. Working directory matters. Yep. All right. So var and specifically var log is the biggest consumer space at almost 16 gig. So let's take a look at what's going on there. All right, so uh, I'm looking here in var log and I scroll up a little bit and, oh dear goodness, look at that guy. That's a lot of space, that's 16 gigs. So yeah, something a little and bit it's easy and start overlogging. And it's so weirdly named, big file. I know. How would you ever find it, that? Easily find it. So <laughs> right, easy enough. We're gonna we're gonna delete that file. So we're gonna remove var log big file. Cool. And now if I df dash h, everything's good, uh, but wait, it's not. But if I du, var log's not showing up there anymore, right? Because you guys all watched me delete that file. Yeah, well, obviously so the problem's solved. Go back to bed. Except it's not, because we can see that slash is still 99% full. No, so it's obviously one. lying to you. It has to be solved. Because you deleted the file, Scott. You know, remember when we were going through and I said, when we delete the file, we mark all these things for reuse. It turns out that we only mark it for reuse when no processes are still using it. If the process is still using it, then we don't know what they're using that file data. So we keep it around. Yeah. Except we've removed the entry from Etsy FS tab, or sorry, not Etsy FS tab. We removed the file entry from var log because you told us to remove it. So we removed it. But the system knows that there's a process out there that's still using it. And so it's keeping that file handle open and keeping that yep. data in place, which is why, even though we deleted the file, 99% disk usage. Yeah. So there's a command that we can use. LSOF. The crazy thing is while that thing's still open in memory, whatever process has it open can still absolutely read the data from it, even though you have technically deleted it, right? Right. It, I wouldn't count on that as like a recovery, but if you did accidentally delete a file that's open, if you act quickly, you may be able to recover the data out of it, but depending on what's reading it, right? Well, if it's something that you can actually, write out with. Actually, we can still recover it now because the file is still intact and it's mm -hmm. file meta and the inode is still intact. So as long as this is still open and we have the file contents all still intact, we could put it back into place. But that's not what we want to do in this example. In this example, we want to figure out what's using it and kill it off so it's actually deleted and that frees up my file system space so I can go back to bed after being paged at two in the morning. LSOF shows me all the open files. But what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I'm going to LSOF and I'm going to grep for that file name. Right? So there was, uh, there was a comment which may have helped. It might actually help people in a situation where maybe they don't know what file was deleted. You can grep for the word deleted. Uh, indeed, so you can see helpful. it here yeah. in parentheses, the file. But what we're told here is the 
process name. So the less command has this file open. It's process ID 2464. And then we get some stuff about where it's stored and how big it is. And then it's var log big file and it's been deleted. If I want to actually delete this file, I will kill process 2464. That's kill dash nine. I really meant it. That's I wasn't right. asking. You ever see there that, we go. that comic? And now if we df dash h, right? I was at 99%, but now I'm back down to a normal amount of file system usage. Right. So having this open file still there and having to be preserved by the system because an application is using it is what caused my file deletion to not work because I wasn't able to mark all of those data blocks and inodes for reuse, or actually the one inode for reuse, because something still had that file open. I had to preserve it. All right. 